Not much disturbs the crystal blue waters of Andros Island in the Bahamas. Even in the dead of winter, the sun shines, the people smile, and the fishing's good. That's why once a year, R.B. Haynes makes a trip down to escape the cold, gray mountains of North Carolina. On quiet Andros, he spends his days spearfishing for his dinner that's prepared and served at Hank's Place Bar and Restaurant, favored by locals and visitors alike. However, this trip is different. Arby's first catch is not a native fish, but one that has invaded the waters. If it was me on the water, I would actually run on top of the water. Frighten the locals. And the whole town of it. And pique the interest of scientists around the globe. The lionfish, a beautiful exotic marine fish and popular in aquarium trade. Although they may look harmless, lionfish have a fan of sharp venomous spines with a sting that is extremely painful. According to Dr. Patrick McMillan, the lionfish is a native of the Indo-Pacific Ocean and has invaded the Atlantic Ocean. So they've been taken out of a system where they've co-evolved with predators, with disease, where they were in balance with the ecosystem, to a new ecosystem. And that new ecosystem has never seen lionfish before. According to NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the first report of lionfish in the Atlantic came in 1992 when a hurricane destroyed an aquarium off the coast of Florida, releasing six lionfish. There are no fish that really are doing what lionfish do in the Atlantic Ocean. So they don't have specialized predators to keep their population in balance, and they have a novel food source. Lionfish have large mouths that they use like a vacuum to suck in their prey. This allows them to eat a bunch of small fish, and even quite large fish, in relation to their own size. With an appetite like this, scientists fear these feeding frenzies may have a negative impact on the Atlantic ecosystem. Reports now show lionfish sightings as far east as Bermuda, as far north as Rhode Island, and as far south as Jamaica. They did something that we didn't expect. They went deeper, and deeper down on the continental shelf, between 80 to 300 feet, we have uh, warm enough waters to keep these things alive all the way north of Cape Hatteras, and the young have shown up all the way up into New England. Mark Albans with the Department of Zoology says his number one priority is lionfish research. Albin spent the summer of 2007 in the Bahamas studying the invasion of the lionfish. His research shows that one single lionfish can reduce the native fish population on a small patch reef by 79% in only five weeks. Lionfish are probably here to stay. So we're left with how do we deal with lionfish being in this ecosystem and how are they going to change the ecosystem and how can we sort of try to ameliorate those effects. Haynes, a man on a mission, wants to help control the lionfish population. He decides to have his catch cleaned up and cooked to see how they taste. No one else brave enough to try a bite leaves Haynes as the first person on Andros Island to eat a lionfish. He hopes the Bahamians will face their fears and catch lionfish themselves as a food source. Haynes wishes to return next year and find them on the menu. Thank you.